Aliens, I created this video with Cyclist in mind. I'll be using resistance bands. These are great for targeting your glutes. I'll post a link in the description below to the set that I'm using. I'm also going to show options if you'd like to incorporate dumbbells as well. I'm hoping you guys find this helpful and you can throw it into your routine for some accessory work. Feel free to increase the reps to what your time and training plan allows. All right, guys, let's head over to our fitness mats and get to work. We have 15 exercises that are 30 seconds each, starting with a lateral band walk. Starting at the edge of your mat, come into a squat position. We're gonna take two steps to our left and then two steps back to our right. Try to keep resistance in the band to keep your knees from pulling inward. Now we have butterfly squat. When you squat down, come up onto your toes, bring your heels in, pushing your knees out, then come back to a neutral position and squeeze your glutes to come back up. Moving into fire hydrant kicks. Come onto your hands and knees. For a more advanced move, you can stay standing. With our right leg bent, we're going to bring it out to the side and then extend it out like a kick. Bring it back in and repeat. Let's repeat this move on the left side. Now we have donkey kicks with a pulse. Starting on your hands and knees, keep our right leg bent and we're going to kick our right foot up towards the ceiling. Do one pulse, lower it back down and repeat. Now let's kick that left leg up. From here, we're going to lie on the mat and go into a glute bridge with in and outs. So with your knees bent, tighten your core and squeeze your glutes, raising your hips up towards the ceiling. Keeping your hips high, extend your right leg out to the side as far as you can. Bring it back in and repeat. Now 
we're going to repeat this move on the left side. Focus on engaging those muscles. Mind-muscle connection is really important with all of these moves. Let's come back to all fours. We're going to raise our right leg and our left arm, bring them towards each other, and use your hand to tap your foot. You really wanna focus on keeping your core strong and working those hamstring and glute muscles. All right, let's work out that left side. to move into diagonal dog. Keeping your core tight, raise your left arm and your right leg. Then we're going to extend them outward, really engaging your glutes as you push that leg out. Come back in and add a crunch. Let's repeat this move on the left side. Next, we're going to come into a low lunge. Bring your left foot forward and your right foot extended behind you. Place your left hand on top of your left knee. Then we're going to drop that right hip down towards the mat while we push our left knee out. Come back up and repeat. Now we'll bring that right foot forward and that left foot back and drop that left hip. Lightly push that right knee out and repeat. Back to all fours, let's give our thoracic spine some love. Bring your right hand to the back of your head and twist bringing your elbow up towards the ceiling, then down towards your hand that's on the mat and repeat.
Okay, on to the left side. Let's stretch out that upper back a bit. Sitting with your legs crossed, bring both hands behind your head, look up with your arms wide, and then bring your elbows together and crunch in. to stretch out that neck a bit. Sitting nice and tall, rest your right hand on your left ear, and then we're gonna drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. You can turn your chin down if you like, whatever gives you the best stretch. Release that hand and let's repeat this move on the right side. Moving into a reclining twist. Let's lie on the mat and extend your right arm out. Place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh and use your left hand to help drop your knee down while you keep your right shoulder on the mat. Bring that right leg down, extend your left arm out, and place your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Drop your knee down and twist. Now we're gonna come into a pigeon pose. Right leg at a 90 degree angle in front of you. Left leg is extended behind you. If extending your left leg is uncomfortable, you can bend that leg out to your side at a 90 degree angle. Keep your chest lifted and lower yourself over your front leg. Let's kick that right leg back and bring our left leg forward and repeat.
Now we're gonna move over to a wall. If you have a couch or bench, that would work as well. With your right knee on the mat, place your right foot up against the wall, then bring your left leg out and square up your hips. From here, we're gonna bring our torso towards the wall, driving our hips forward. Switch sides, bringing the left knee to the mat, square up those hips, and stretch. For our final stretch, we're gonna to come to a standing position. Bend that left knee and keep that right leg nice and straight. Then place your left hand on the outside of the right foot. For more of a stretch, bring that right hand up towards the ceiling. Let's stretch out the left side, bend your right knee, keep your left leg nice and straight, place your right hand on the outside of your left foot, rotate that left hand up towards the ceiling, and stretch. Great job, guys. Let me know in the comments below how you feel after doing this workout. And of course, you can always join me live on Twitch for some behind the scenes fun. All right, send me some love by hitting that thumbs up and subscribe button, and I will see you all again soon.